Hi everyone, Dr. Victoria Skirbo here, speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. Um, I'm keeping my promise. I said I would do some readings, and um, I want to do a reading today on Lev Parnas. I did watch, um, I don't think I saw the whole thing, because I didn't see it when it actually was on. I had to go to YouTube and look for it, so I'm not sure I saw everything. But um, the interview with Rachel Maddow of of Les Pornis. And um, Les Pornis is um, an associate of Rudy Giuliani and the president. Uh, he, I think, originally worked as a real estate, um, a realtor perhaps. He was selling uh, Trump condos. And um, he was born in the Ukraine, Odessa. And uh, in 1972, he is an Aquarius, according to the information I got off of Wikipedia. He was born February 6th, 1972. And uh, he has a lot of Aquarius in his chart. He either has a Scorpio or a Libra moon. And I think it could be either one of those things. Uh, Scorpio moon can, you know, be sort of that, like, underhanded. Not that people have Scorpio moons are underhanded. These people know how to keep a secret. And then there's Libra, uh, which will sometimes give up their power for their relationships. And it kind of sounds like that was more of the dynamic um, between him and Trump. Um, he, Like I said, he has a lot of Aquarius, um, and he has his North Node in Aquarius. And the new moon that's coming up on the 24th will be joining his North Node. And so he has an opportunity to move in the direction of his destiny. Uh, new beginnings on that. So let's see. Let's see what comes up for Lev. 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 Okay, we have the Hierophant here to start. This is the government. Of course, he is in the clutches, we'll say, of the government at this point. Um, let's see what's crossing that. Okay, we have the King of Swords. Uh, this is investigation. So they're looking into him. They're looking into... Um, his actions. So he is, um, we'll say under the microscope. Let's see what's at the root. Okay, at the root is the dirty dealings. What happened? What's going on? Okay, so that all makes perfect sense. Let's see the past for him. Okay, we have the two of wands. This is somebody who uh, was out in the world, working the world. He has. We have the globe here. So there's a sense of having a home base here and then working somewhere else across the ocean. And of course, that was the Ukraine and the work that he did in the Ukraine. Let's see what's in the sky. Okay, we have the Ten of Swords. So his uh, dirty dealings are over. Whatever it was that he got involved with is done. And he lies there bleeding, as it were, in, in, for everybody to see. Um, this is kind of a dire card, a meaning an ending card for sure. Um, but I don't know if you can see it, but there's a light coming in the distance, and that's the rising sun. So this card, while it is an ending, is also a new beginning. There's a new dawn rising for him. Um, of course, it could be spent a lot of years in prison. I don't know. I don't know what's, what's going to happen with that. But um, it's definitely his old life is over. Let's see what's okay. And so in the immediate in, in the immediate future we get the ace of swords, the justice card. So he has divulged quite a bit already. Um, I think that he has divulged it so that he could get a better deal. That's what it looks like to me. Uh, but it does say that for more will be divulged, right? The immediate future, the ace of swords. All right, let's see how this is seen from the outside. Um, this is um, somebody who wanted to be successful, somebody who had aspirations of, of living the good life and, you know, hanging out. You know, there's this thought that if you want to be rich, you have to hang out with the rich, you know, that kind of thing. Um, all right, let's see. Um, his domestic situation. Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles. <sighs> hmm. 
I'm going to leave that and see what else comes up. Hopes and fears. I'm not getting anything from that card yet. Okay, so he's hoping for a new beginning. The Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands. He's hoping for a new beginning. And let's see the outcome. We have the Queen of Swords. So this justice will be served. First, when I saw this, the first thing I thought of was um, Nancy Pelosi. She often comes up as the Queen of, of Wands and not the Queen of Swords, but sometimes she comes up as the Queen of Swords. Um, I'm not sure why she came up, so let's see. We'll continue the Hermit. All right, so these cards for him, for him, these cards, there's a little bit with the Hermit as the, as the last card, of course, and, and the Queen of Swords next to it. There's definitely prison, ter prison time in his, in his future. Um, and yet the, the Hermit card is also a healing card. It's about healing. It's a nine. It's about the end of the road. Let's see um, what's underneath it all. Okay, we have the Seven of Wands. Well, this makes me feel a little better about love. I wasn't really sure about him. Um, we have the Seven of Wands. We have the Death card. And we have the Fool. These are the three cards that were underneath. And um, this is somebody who has, um, whose sort of back is against the wall. But he does have a doorway to get out. There is there is uh, a way for him to sort of get out of the situation. Uh, we have the, the death card here, which is the card of transformation and change. And then we have the fool, which is a new beginning. Um, I don't feel like... I don't feel like he's going to die. Uh, but I do feel like he was concerned he might be killed. Um, you know, especially in prison. Um, I don't know. I don't know what kind of prison they're going to send him to or if it's even going to be an issue, but um, it certainly was an issue for Epstein, right? Um, so, it looks definitely like he is telling the truth. He's not telling the whole truth yet, or there are still some things that need to be investigated. And I think that has to do more with his money and his family and maybe how he had to hide money or, or something. There's, there's something there. Um, but, um, yeah. But he, it's not like he didn't work for the money. Of course, what he did might not have been legal, but he worked, he worked for it. Goodness gracious. Can you believe we're talking about the President of the United States and his associates? We live in such a strange, strange time. I'm telling you, this is crazy. So, I feel like he's playing his part. This is his part in this grand scheme. Um, there's a faded quality to this whole thing. Um, but I think that... Alright, so... Let's see, is he, is there something he's not telling us? Let's look at that. Is there something he's not telling us? Is there something Lev Parnas is not telling us? King of Wands, the Tower, oh, sorry. the Hangman, the Six of Pentacles, and the Judgment. Okay, I'm just going to put these in front of me. So is there something he's not telling us? Um, 
King of Wands, King of Wands. There's definitely, there's definitely more information that would even be more destructive. Um, I want to say he has information about payoffs. Um, hmm. I'm not sure who the King of Wands is. Because I think it's part of the payoff. I think whoever the King of Wands is, is going to have a tower moment. Um, I almost feel like he's going to say something that implicates somebody else and that person um, has a similar sort of come to Jesus moment, as it were, um, and something about the finances get, get exposed. Something about who got paid off, et cetera, et cetera. Um, who is this King of Wands? Who is this King of Wands? Let's see if we can figure out who the King of Wands is, because I don't really know. King of Cups. Star. The Six of Cups. Ten of Cups. Uh-oh. This, this is a Republican. No, he's a Libra. The Emperor. The Emperor. Oh. Oh. Um. I think it might be Don Jr. I think that... There is something that he knows because they've been friends with the Trumps for a while. It's not a new thing. And there's pictures of him with, you know, everybody really. Um, but I feel as though there's something there's something else that's coming up. There's there's as I said, I feel as though he is going to say something or expose something, and then somebody else is going to have the full weight of the law. And it looks like it's one of his children. And I would guess from this that it is um, Don Jr. Don Jr. Okay, well, I don't know. If, I don't know this, that, or the other thing on that, but, uh, so I would say that he is, uh, I don't think, know if he's telling the whole truth, I don't know if he's being selective about his truth, uh, but I don't think he's lying, I just think maybe he's leaving some stuff out, um, and will only say those things if pressed or if necessary for his own skin, which, you know, you always have to have like a little bit of something. You can't give it all away, right? All right, so that's that. So that's what it looks like for Lev. Um, comment below. Um, when I watched him, I thought he was pretty, you know, like, in a way, matter of fact, seems very calm. Um, he did seem like somebody who had, um, you know, gotten to the point where he realized that if he didn't come clean, then there would be, he'd have nothing. And so I think he was utilizing his, you know, doing his best bet, which we would all hope we would all do that, right? And that, in those cases, like, not that we're going to get stuck in that situation, but, you know, when it comes to uh, surviving or not, I think we all will pull out all the all the stops as it were for that so there's that but I do feel like uh I do feel like he's uh telling the truth and I do feel like um there's something else he has more information that's going to cause problems and I feel like it could be for Don Jr. um let's see if he's going to be allowed to testify at the senate hearing 
we'll ask about the Senate hearing, and then we'll ask, I don't know if the House would consider, like, opening, um, opening some more uh, investigations. You'd think that this, this part was, was closed by now, but let's see. So let's do the Senate. Is he going to be able to uh, testify for the Senate? We have the moon. <laughs> we have the nine of, of cups. Smug merchant. Queen of cups. Hmm. The ace of cups. A lot of cups, a lot of emotions. And the empress. Well... The moon. I have a feeling he's not going to be allowed, even though he has information that would make things more obvious as to what the, what's going on. So I don't think he's going to have an opportunity to um, be a witness. So uh, I am going to next the next reading. I want to ask about the trial and um, whether they'll do witnesses and whether one of those witnesses will be John Bolton. So, I mean, they may have enough information with the people that they do want that they don't need Lev. Um, Lev might have simply been more of a, you know, doing it for his own benefit, of course, but also uh, just more information out on Trump so people can see just, you know, how how much of a um, criminal like enterprise this was. You know, and there's something about the Ukraine uh, and their connections to the Ukraine that I think are even more older and more sinister than, than, than this particular situation um, because Manafort was so close to the president of the Ukraine who was summarily kicked out of his mansion um, by the people, and then this Zelensky was was um, was elected. So, while it there's part of this that has to do with you know getting dirt on Joe Biden, I think there's something else under that. I, I don't think it's simply that. I think they're using that. The the the, the uh, house is using that, but I feel like there are some. Um, some older connections. One of the reasons why uh, Manafort became um, his um, campaign, uh, whatever, leader, director, whatever that's called, manager, his campaign manager, like for nothing. So uh, it's all it's all connected, and I'm not sure we have all the information or uh, yet. But I do think that more connections are going to be exposed by him, by the fact that he's he's talking, and also um, later, uh, once this is all over, what, however, whatever that means, uh, <laughs> we're going to get some more and more information. Okay, guys, um, I'll be back with a look at the um, the Senate uh, the Senate trial. Okay, take care. Bye. Like and subscribe, and donate if you like.